Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Got a videos a day from Dating Right. Women goes viral for dating people that actually like you, era. That's kind of given. Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that chow. It's chow time. Date someone who wants you. Not my type. Oh, God. I'm scared. Okay, I'm about to do it. I'm doing it. Fire it. I'm going all the way. Shut up. Hey, what's going on, good people? In this first video, we're going to be discussing a woman who said in a post, in my date people who actually like you era. And it has... Just making up stupid eras all over the place. Pretty soon, us men are going to make something to make fun of this, too. <laughs> Stirred up a little bit of conversation online. Let's get right into it. Oh, <clears throat> uh, look at us. We kind of matching today. Mm. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> oh, you, you are recording? I thought yes. you were taking a... Oh. Take a picture. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Why are you making all that noise? Because I don't see it like... Man, I, I, I feel like uh, I'm really, really, really stressed right now. I, Why are you stressed? I can, I can tell it. I didn't... I didn't even realize it until now after being on your camera i can tell how can you tell that you're stressed because of my looks say what's wrong with your looks you don't look bad to me oh she actually gave him a compliment right? she told him you don't look that bad to me she just may give this guy is that a shot. really a compliment you don't look bad to me uh, talking about I, the gray hairs like... And guys, look. One... Why are you holding it like that and just putting him on camera? Like, the man doesn't want to be on camera. One dude in the comment said, "Please don't hurt, bro." Yeah. You, you, you looking beautiful every day, and I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still looking like an old guy. <laughs> anyway. All right. And another woman in the comment said, and this man looks like he pays bills on time. I love this. And guys, unfortunately, we do know the truth of this matter, which is that when a woman don't like you like that, it's probably not going to play out well for you. Please understand, if I ever went on a date with a girl and she expressed how she's dating guys that actually like her, that's the era she's in, I'm going to feel offended. First, overthinker, I'm just going to think that I'm a phase. And once your type comes along, obviously that person's going to win. And I only say this because I know y'all saw that video of that girl. She got like 2 million views off of it. She talking about she dating guys that actually like her. This is no hate. But to the guys that are shy and get nervous, we got to work on them social skills. Because bro in we that do. video making noises like he's in a cartoon. In reality, he reminded me of Blue's Clues from back in the day. In reality, some of you think your niceness and your shyness and your you being genuine is what scares girls away. No, you make women feel uncomfortable because they don't know how to handle certain situations due to your actions. Yep. And if you go through the comments, everyone knew dude was genuine. And he came off like a nice dude. And even the girls are like, girl, please don't hurt him. He seems nice. And all the girls are loving it. But you have to understand, women want someone to rely on. If you don't know how to handle yourself, how are you going to handle her? The whole date whoever likes you thing, it breaks my heart. I'm not going to lie. Because a lot of guys don't even know that they're the guy in this situation. And sometimes you will never know. But I remember one time I was dealing with this chick, right? I went to her crib, right? She'd been knowing me for years. She'd been hitting my DM for years, but I never really wanted her for real. I finally give her the time of day. I pull up to her crib, right? That one morning I had pulled up a guy that actually wanted her, called her phone. He hit her with the, oh, let's go get some brunch. Let me take you out for breakfast. Let's do this. Let's do that. He making plans. She looks over at me like, just, just laughing as he's blabbering on. So while he's asking, she's just like, okay, I'll let you know. Just bullshitting. I'm just dragging him along. After she hangs up the phone, she looks at me and says, oh, you know how it's just like, it's just like the right guy. Like he does everything. He's a nice, kind guy. He does everything for you, but he's just in like the wrong body. I couldn't even, bro. I, I really, I really felt for him, bro. I'm not going to lie. Like, bro, like if you're not. I used to be that guy. 
the first girl I dated after my ex-wife, I was probably that guy still. You know, I didn't really get immersed into red pill until after that relationship or actually in the middle of that relationship. That's when I started realizing I'm fucking up. Not the complete package. They're just going to tolerate you and limit you to them. Like you're going to have like limited access to that woman. Like she would never fully like you if you don't got the looks, the money, the um, the kindness, the good guy stuff. It's just certain things you you would never get the complete woman is what I'm saying. And as sad as that may sound, bro, you just have to be aware of who you are to that girl. Yeah, good luck to this man. But unfortunately, she may be the reason why this man will become red pill one day. This man realized that the reason why I wasn't going to the dentist to get my cavity filled is because I didn't want to pay the out of pocket costs. And he contacted my dentist and scheduled me an appointment and is paying for the whole thing. I used to beg my ex for, for flowers. I, now I am receiving free dental care. That's what she's looking for. A man that will love her unconditionally just like her father would. And I appreciate this lady for being honest about the actual provision and protection a loving man can bring to her life. Date someone who likes you. Date someone who likes you. Like, actually likes you. See, I, I hate the statement because dating someone that likes you makes it seem like, so you don't like that person? Is that the issue? It's like, do you not like that person too? This is just how it always comes across when women say it. When men say it, it's pretty genuine. Date someone that likes you. And men actually build genuine connection with these people still. Women can't. You and like tells you that they like you it's humbling it's very humbling so last night i had put some women's basketball on my parlay ticket right and they had me thinking like do women really want that spotlight on them like that you feel me? Like, I mean, I understand we live in the era of the women empowerment movement and stuff like that, but women's basketball, do y'all really want that spotlight on y'all like that? Because y'all gonna get treated just like the men. Bitch, grab the ball! Oh my God, get this hoe out the game! And we ain't trying to hear none of that respect. Like, we ain't trying to hear none of that. Like, don't get me wrong, I love women. This Same. tall ass hoe ain't grab man, rebound, and get the fuck out the game. Tall ass hoe ain't grab man, rebound, for nothing. I'm just saying, if y'all want to be treated equal, then this what comes with the territory. So don't take it personal. It's just we be trying to get money. Bitch, you is not hurt. Stop all that whining and get your Ernie Johnson looking ass back on defense. Damn, you bald head ass hole. Sorry as fuck. You know that is probably the only time when I do get interested in sports. When I put like five, ten bucks or a hundred bucks on the line with my friends when they do a parlay or whatever, I'm like, okay, now I got some money on the line. <laughs> now I want a certain outcome. Other than that, I don't care. <laughs> I'm on a journey to meet my husband. So I have decided to go to all the luxury car dealerships in the Atlanta surrounding area to possibly meet a eligible bachelor. How is that not gold digging at its finest right there? Going to the luxury car dealerships just to walk around so you can find a man? Ah. So, with that being said, my first stop is Porsche. So, I just pulled up. I have a Mercedes. So, I'm acting like I want to upgrade my car to possibly see if it's any potential black. So, you go in there, waste the salesman's time, and waste his time slot so he doesn't get to go talk to someone that actually genuinely wants a car so he loses the commission of that because you want to fuck around and find out strong kings here that i can meet so wish me luck <laughs> did she buy it so this is me at the porsche dealership I'm about to test drive a car because we got to see it through. We got to go all the way through with this, okay? And I'll give y'all an update when I leave. Back in the day, I really used to be flattered almost when guys would approach me and be saying, how are you single? You just too fond to be single. Or you just too this to be single. You're too intelligent or you're too... Um, your personality is too fire to be like, how are you single? And I used to, back in the day, I used to be like, right, how am I single? Like, I'm a great catch. No, you're not. 
I guess guys are just trying to give you a compliment just to see how you play it and react? I've only gotten better since my high school, college days. And so being a 25-year-old woman and still having men say, how are you single? How are you not married? And I'm looking back at the black average black man, like, because you're not committing. Because... Being a husband, being a committed husband, wanting a family is not a priority for the average black man anymore. You shut the fuck up. It is one of the best priorities, one of the biggest priorities for men. Black men or any men. It's just, you guys are not worth the commitment. It's never your fault. It's never your own fault or all the things you do to push men away and to never get men to commit to you. No, it's just all the men just don't want to commit. That's all it is. More. That's why I'm single. Hey, no, 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 no. You're a horrible a person. When men notice that you are a pretty lady and you are single. Yes, men automatically know a woman that looks like you should have a husband, but something must be wrong with you mentally. Correct. One thing that really gets me about a man is... And if you've come across this, you better keep the man close, okay? Is when, because I'm kind of a hothead, I'm controlling the flame. You know, I'm, I'm learning how to handle my Just emotions. Just telling I'm learning to have a healthy relationship with it, I, my emotions because the way that I grew up, you know, I didn't see um, effective communication between, you know, my parents. I don't fucking understand this. So just because you didn't see it growing up doesn't mean you shouldn't have built skills towards it and fucking worked on it. Society kind of shows you that you need to be level-headed and all these things, but yet you chose not to do these things. Why? Because you're a woman. You never had to. You had all the privileges. Men still threw dick at you, even though you're a horrible person. Parents in the best way. Yep, she just blamed her parents for her actions as a 25-year-old lady. Yep. You know, my parents in the best way. So it's like when I get into a he heated argument with my significant other, I'm on 10. Like, you're going to feel me. I want you to understand. And I'm kind of getting a little rowdy. But baby, one thing I love, one thing I love is a man who could be in the midst of a heated argument with you and be so composed, be have so much self-control. Still look at you in that heated moment and be like, baby, this is not how we're going to handle it. <sighs> toxic, toxic, okay. toxic. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Actually, can we start making out? I know we was just arguing, but you just brought me all the way down. Can we just... I want to kiss you now. I don't even care about what we was arguing about. I'm so she's turned on by a man that will role play an image of their dad or father. We may call this toxic, and it is, but we call this emotionally looking for a daddy figure. She's looking for a man to be the authority figure when it comes to her acting out as a toddler. We ain't did We ain't did that. He gonna get him. He'll get him, and you but gotta he said, deal. He only gets them when it's convenient for him. Well, then that's what you got to deal with, not us. I'm sorry, baby, I can't. We can't deal that. We can't. I'm so we sorry. already got one in him, uh -uh, and I you and I are gonna bring two babies in here. I can't do it. I just, Lord, no, my heart won't allow me to do it. I'm sick. My wife is sick. I'm getting blood transfused. I can't do I, it. See, I don't know. I mean, I but don't I'm know. telling you. But he'll get them. He'll get the kids. Well, can can he'll you tell them their daddy not here because they won't? They don't understand. They they can't. Well, you're well, you gonna have to because deal with your kids. Kid. You gonna I'm have so to sorry. deal with it. I'm so sorry, but I can't. I, I can't. You no, can't no, do no, us no. like this. I can't. You can't do us like this. Wait on Justin. He'll get. Wait on JD. And JD getting his kids. Get this is ghetto. I feel like a, I'm a teen mom or something. Like, well, he, I don't he need his own transportation. Look, look, look. But, but then, that's, you, you have him get transportation in. I, I can't, can't do that. I can't do it. Okay. I can't. You let the man hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. I gotta go. Okay. All right. Okay. Tell him, but daddy's not here. Bye bye, baby. Tell, bye bye. Can you tell him that daddy's not Daddy get you. Daddy come get you. I'll make sure he I'll make sure he come get you. And he'll carry you to his house. 
Hey, kid. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Okay, we got to go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello. Hey, is this Tequila? Who is this? Okay, this is Sarah, baby. Who? Sarah. Sarah, who? You don't know me. I'm, I was calling to let you know that I'm fucking oh, your Lord. husband. Uh-huh. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything is just fine. Okay, okay. You say you calling to let me know. What about? I'm fucking your husband, Neil. Oh, that's fine. Oh, shit, you don't care? Girl, bye. You said you trying to join us? No. Oh, you don't get down like that? Uh-uh. Mm. You sure? From you, where? You don't want to try it one time? Well, I met him at work. Tower Automotive. Where you, where, where at? That's Tower Automotive. Okay. Are you sure you don't want to try nothing? Why do women do this to each other? Give me a pee. See, I know it. I got you, baby. <laughs> She sounds like she's already cheating on her husband with a woman because the way she asked the woman to send her a picture of herself to see what she looked like. Maybe this man's wife was bisexual this whole time. Send me a pic. See, I know it. I got you, baby. <laughs> When's your birthday? February. Fe February what? 18th. Were you on the cuff? Yeah, when yours? Marcy Oh, that was damn near Pisces. How'd it turn to this? His daddy birthday the 19th. We we gonna get along just fucking fine. What is going on? He ain't even want me to call you. He was scared. Why are you scared for you to call him? I don't know. He thought you was gonna trip. Oh. I ain't tripping. Oh, I see. I'm about to, I'm about to let him know it's going down. Go ahead. All right, baby. First. I got Take you. First. I got you. All right, now. All right, boy. What the what? Guys, that's why it's very important to vet any woman that you have been dating. I have actually been saying this for years, and a lot of my women friends would always tell me, oh, don't play no games with women. Just be straight up as a man. I will always rebuttal and say men are not playing games. They are simply conducting a loyalty test, especially if this is a woman that you're taking seriously and thinking about marrying. I would rather play a game to see what type of true character that this woman has if her loyalty is tested in a situation regarding me and my love. Hell, I love hard. Ain't none of these women are ever gonna play with my heart again. Nope. But I'm gonna stop this video right here before I get a bit triggered. You guys <laughs> drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of our guy that- Shout outs to Dating Right. This is how villains are born. You know, nice guys like him being put on camera, being treated the way he gets treated. Sooner or later, he becomes people like me. Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.